friends, it's so good to see you. One of the ways that we practice quantity in the Montessori classroom is by using the colored beads. So there is a, a bead for each quantity and it has a specified color. So for instance, one is red. Every time we use one, it is this red bead. But since you're at home, chances are you don't have the colored beads at your house. I don't have them at my house either. They're in the classroom. So we can't use the actual beads, but I created some cards to practice matching each number to this colored bead that it goes with. So today I'm going to show you how to use those cards. Are you ready? Let's get started. We have two sets of cards here. The first set has the numerals one through 10. And the second set has pictures of the Montessori colored beads, and we are going to match them to the corresponding numeral. So what we will do first is lay out the numeral cards in order from one to 10. And the first thing that I want you to notice is that, look, we have the rug going the long way. So we're going to lay out the numerals from the top all the way to the bottom. So which number would come first? One, that's right. And what comes after one? What would be next? Two, very good. And then after two comes three. And what is next after three? Four, very good. And what comes next after four? Five, and after five comes six, after six comes seven, great job, after seven comes eight, fantastic, what's next after eight? Nine. And finally, which number comes after nine? 10. So we have all of the numerals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So the next thing that we will do is look at these cards one by one, and we have to count how many beads are on each bar. So let's start with this one here. Let's see how many beads are on this bar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is nine. So let's find where nine would go. are here. One, two, three. So now let's find the numeral three. Aha, three and three. Those are both three. Now let's look at this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. This bead is six. Let's find six. Aha, six. This is six and this is six. Now let's look at this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The brown one is eight. So now let's find eight. Which number is eight? Eight. Eight, eight. Okay, now let's look at this one. This one is white. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Let's find the numeral seven. Aha, seven, seven, seven. Let's look at this one. It's green. Look, one, two, two, two is green. And look, two, two, two. Now let's look at this one. One. This one has one bead and it is red. Let's find one. Now let's look at this one. One, two, three, four. Four. Four is yellow. Four. Four. Great job. Let's look at this one, the golden one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The golden bar is ten. And let's see, where is ten? Here it is. Ten, ten. And now the very last one. This one is light blue. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Here's five. So look, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we have matched each of the numerals to the corresponding colored bead bar. Okay, friends, I hope you had lots of fun practicing math today. We got a lot of practicing counting in, so I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a good rest of the day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.